So recently in January 20, uh, 2024 this year, Consumer Reports tested 85 food products for BPA and phthalates. Why is this important? Because these disruptor hormones, they lower testosterone, they increase breast cancer in women, prostate cancer in men, they cause infertility, depression, on and on. These chemicals also cause male feminization, which has become a bigger and bigger problem. Uh, for example, here in a study in 2018, they say phthalates are ubiquitous. That means they're everywhere, as we'll see in the Consumer Reports study in a minute. They interfere with developmental androgen, that's male hormone action. They cause cryptorchidism, that's when testes fail to descend. They cause, male, they cause hypospediasis, that's the genital defect. Reduce testicular volume, that means a smaller size. Reduce testosterone and anogenital distance, that's what Shauna Swan has dedicated her research to studying. But that's just one example. Here's another study talking about the male brain saying prenatal phthalate exposure leads to dysregulation of brain masculinization. And then they talk about male brain feminization. It's a physical change, but it even changes toy preferences when they study that because boys tend to like trucks and tractors and guns and girls tend to like the dolls and the personal relationship oriented toys. But it's not just the kids. Grown men find that certain types of phthalates, remember there's a lot of these, not just one. It's just like BPA, right? There's a lot of bisphenols, not just BPA. But certain phthalates lower total testosterone and free testosterone and the stuff available to the body of adult men. Uh, the stupidest study was this one where they found BPA, ubiquitous once again, meaning it's everywhere. It's been found to produce feminization of male fetuses and then they suggest employing antioxidants as a promising strategy. Meaning like keep the BPA, just take some vitamin C. Hopefully your hormones won't be too screwed up. It's crazy. Um, and in case you thought BPA analogs like BPS or BPF or BPAF, they're okay. Here's a study that explored BPA alternatives and they found similar to BPA, BPAF and BPF induced testes feminization. Okay, the stage has been set. Let's look at the consumer reports data. Of the 85 foods, 79% had BPA. Then they said this was a step in the right direction because in 2009 it was worse. But I think I think it's shockingly high, 79% of foods. Phthalates, not surprisingly, were in every single food item except polar raspberry lime seltzer. So kudos to polar for lining their aluminum cans with without hormone disrupting chemicals. Um, the reason phthalates have become a larger problem than BPA is that these companies, they're doing the shell game, where when they go BPA free, they either go with BPF or BPAF or whatever, BPS, or phthalates, mostly phthalates. So let's go through some of the actual findings here. Coca-Cola, again, an aluminum can, it's lined with plastic. It's actually a plastic container. It has 6,000 plus nanograms of phthalates, super, super high considering. Men's estrogen level is about 20 nanograms per liter, and women are also about 20, up to about 200 nanograms per liter, depending on the time of the month. So that's a relative, uh, that's, a, that's a relative scale. Pole and spring plastic bottles, just at room temperature, 4,000 plus nanograms of phthalates. I've been saying that for years, avoid those. Even, even whether or not you're heating it, there's a lot of leaching. Uh, canned foods are high, of course those are metal, cans lined in plastic condiments sure syrup in plastic it's going to be high processed dairy of course super super high they're all that heating and yogurt of course right it's coming from the milk that they've got with all the heating and pasteurizing and all the plastic tubing and lining um, i wrote about fast food being super high in my book and this still holds true most of those foods are 20 to thirty thousand nanograms and a lot of people are asking me about chipotle I've talked to a Chipotle food consultant who works for that company and he told me they sous vide all their meats before they cook them on the grill where you can see them. So they're boiling their meats in plastic bags. And by the way, you can cook sous vide. You just need to do it in silicone bags like that stasher bag. I talk about this on the AJConsultingCompany.com website, which many of you have seen. Now fries, french fries are not a surprise. All those seed oils are arriving in giant plastic containers. High, high, high. That's the general theme. Meat's surprisingly high. Even regular ground beef is 2,729 nanograms. Just tells you how much plastic is in leaching in the various animal feeds at feedlots and things. I've written about that for years also. Um, it's a strong argument to start supporting your local farmer, your polyface, your white oak pastures type farm. 
I recommend look up Weston A. Price Foundation on Facebook. Find your local chapter leader. Ask them who your local farmers are for raw milk, buy half a cow, that kind of thing. Those types of foods should be a major percentage of your diet. Try canning your own foods in glass jars. Our church in Pine Island, Minnesota had extra land, so they recently started a community garden where people signed up for free and grew veggies on their own plots of dirt where there's no herbicides and things. Do what you can. Keep raising awareness. Hopefully the government will finally start to address these hormone disruption issues. They've got kids too, right? The medical system in America has no incentive. Um, they're not going to pl promote plastic avoidance because these health disorders take a long time to develop. And if anything, they're making money on them, especially with the gender transition craze. Um, so they're financially biased in that direction. But keep doing what you can. Remember, everything you do helps. You're never going to be 100% clear of these hormone chemicals, hormone disrupting chemicals in our environments. But I look forward to seeing you in the comments on this one. And I'll do additional videos as I learn more.